Hi, Chosen One. What does it feel like for you when someone you love wants to spend time with you? I know it makes me feel good, happy, fulfilled, excited. I want to talk to you real quick about the word abiding. Now, every month I memorize a new verse and I focus on a word or a topic. And this month, my word is abiding. And to abide simply refers to a moment by moment experience of walking in harmony with God. And then I remember that Crossover is doing a corporate 21 days of prayer and fasting. So you know what? I was like, hey, I'm on point, right? I'm on the right track with God because prayer and fasting also involves abiding. Now, why is this so important? That's because it's so the opposite of our lives right now. Often, this is what our lives look like, this jar. So if I give it a little shake here, everything starts swirling around, right? And our lives can feel like this and look like this. And I know that some of you are living maybe in drama-filled homes and there's disharmony all around you. Maybe that's all you know. Now, even if your home is drama-free, the moment that you walk out your door, chances are high that you will experience or witness some kind of disagreement, hostility, misunderstanding, or anger. And do you know why else abiding is so important and it's so necessary? Because I know that you're struggling with something. I know that some of you might be struggling with your identity, your purpose, finances, maybe your mental health, a relationship issue. You fill in the blank. Now, I want to let you in on a little secret. All the things that need to be known and solved and figured out in your life is not going to be discovered or solved or figured out at the thinking level. The things that you need to know and solve and figure out are going to be heard at the listening level. So that's when the sediment, the chaos settles, and then you can see clearly again. That's when everything was swirling before the busyness, right? Mom life, wife life, church life, my emotions, my thoughts, my inner chaos that felt like I couldn't control anymore. This is what you need. You need the waters of your soul to settle. So friends, are you overwhelmed and trying to figure your life out? You don't have to. It's too exhausting, it's overwhelming, and it's stressful. And I know that a lot of you, you're working so hard with what you have. You're trying so hard to make lemonade out of the lemons of life. But if you can hear me out, when you learn to abide, this is a crazy thing. God is the one that makes you productive. He makes you fruitful without the stressing or the striving or the doing. He makes you fruitful and productive. And the things that you're anxiously waiting to know, to solve and to figure out, will be revealed to you when you sit at his feet. So I have an action step for you. I want you to read Psalms 23 and read it as many times as you need to. And I'm going to leave you with this. Are you lost? Then you have a guide. Do you have a need? Our good shepherd, he provides and he looks after us. Are you living in chaos right now? then the Prince of Peace will lead you to still waters. Is your soul broken? God can restore your soul and replenish you. Are you in a valley that's full of fear? His presence is with you, beside you, behind you, ahead of you. Are you starved and famished? He sets a table with abundance for you in the presence of your enemies. Do you feel forsaken and fruitless? His mercy and goodness will surround you all the days of your life. Amen.